Hey folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Organic versus conventional chlorella. Which is better? I'm going to answer that one for you. Organic versus conventional chlorella, well, this could apply to spirulina as well because they have the same inputs or what we call, uh, you know, ingredients in the normal world, but in the, uh, you know, in the chlorella world and the spirulina world, you call them inputs. What are they grown with? So which is better? You know, to get that little circle there, that USDA on there, that's so important to a lot of people. And they want to make sure that it's got no herbicides, pesticides. Um, or anything else in there, and that's important. No, no, you know, when I buy fruit in the store, let me tell you something. I always buy organic because that's what they really spray the crap out of is fruit, and more than anything else, things like asparagus, they don't spray very much. Avocados, they don't spray very, very much. Blueberries, they spray the crap out of them. So you know, it's like that. But when it comes down to chlorella, what's the truth? Do you want organic? Is it worth the money, or is it conventional? So the chlorella has to grow on something or be fed something uh, for it to grow. Any other, like any other plant on, on planet Earth, it needs, you know, it needs some fertilizer. So what's in there? Potassium, magnesium, uh, nitrogen, which comes from urea. It's all natural. And then there's one more, acetic acid. That's the really big thing that defines whether it's going to be grown organically or in, in, in considered organic or whether it's going to be called conventional. So what do you find? Uh, where do you find acetic acid? Well, I got some apple cider vinegar here. Everyone knows this. This is just uh, this happens to be Bragg's. I'm not uh, promoting anybody here, but if you're going to get apple cider vinegar, and I have some every single day, I take this, I put it in my salad, I put a bunch of herbs in it, it sits there for six months or a year, sometimes longer, and it gets all those flavors in there. I put this on my salad every single month, every single night, because this has acetic acid, and it's really good for your digestion. Some people say, well, it's hard to prove that. I always feel better with it, but it's really good for stabilizing your blood sugar and everything. This is incredible stuff, acetic acid. You find that in vinegar naturally. Well, if you want to grow chlorella naturally, you're going to have to use vinegar or a vinegar derivative to get the organic um, you know, side of acetic acid. And there's another form of it that's not organic, but it's just all natural, um, and it, but it doesn't come from vinegar. So because of the crazy rules we li uh, live under when, when it comes to organic certification, you know, and we're really, we're living under, I want to understand, agriculture rules, and this is not agriculture, this is aquaculture. We're growing in water. So the same rules won't, sh really shouldn't apply, but they do anyway, because, you know, who set the rules? Well, the FDA and, you know, one size fits all. So honestly, the acetic acid that you're going to put into conventional chlorella, it comes from a natural source, but it doesn't come from vinegar. They can't trace it back. So now you can suddenly, oh, you can't call it organic. Oh, you know, so you got to grow with this vinegar, and it's really vinegar. They take the acetic acid out of the vinegar like that. Very expensive process. Really drives the cost up. But is the and then you get your little symbol, and that's what so many people really want. And the same is true. Like I said, same is absolutely true for spirulina. Um, and and uh, in spirulina, some some companies actually replace that acetic acid with something else, and so it's really cheap. Gives it kind of a funny taste, but it's a very good quality. And that's what we're looking here. What is the quality? Well, let me tell you something. The difference between these two, organic and, and conventional, is like this: zero percent, nothing. The taste is the same. The nutritional value is the same. The nutritional components are the same. Nothing's different. It's just that acetic acid that they put in there, and the source of that acetic acid, which is the you know really gives us so much trouble when we're ha we're trying to produce organic chlorella. I've mentioned in previous videos, one thing you really want to look for very carefully is, and you can look these companies up on the internet. Do they have organic certification? You know, I mean, there's there's I could, I could I'll, I'll put the link at the bottom here. There's ways to look this up and say actually, have they got organic certification? A lot of companies, you know, they're buying buying stuff from from China and they go start looking up the company they don't have organic certification they don't have USDA NOP which is national organic program no they don't have that 
and suddenly you see, oh, and they've got it, but wait a minute, wait a minute, it's not crop, it's handling. It's, they have and handling certification, they don't have crop certification. You gotta grow uh, 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 so your chlorella or whatever, whatever else you happen to be, whatever crop you're growing, and you know, you grow it organically. And then you gotta be able to handle it. Well, everybody that's got crop has handling, but not everybody who has handling has crops. In other words, they can buy that, that chlorella from China, and it could be conventional, and then they could handle it organically, and then, you know, oh, suddenly it's organic. So you got to be careful there. And of course, you go look up these companies, you're going to find out a lot of them from China. Well, they're not on there, they're just selling it organically. Hmm. So, at any rate, that's the point. Is, is, is this being grown organically, or is it grown conventionally? Um, well, there is a difference. This is using the, the acetic acid from vinegar. This one is not. But what is the end product? It's absolutely the same. I'd be lying to you if I told you anything different. There's, the taste isn't different. The nutritional value isn't different. There is no difference in the end product. It's just that acetic acid. That's the bottom line. Oh, by the way, hey, Dr. Bob, which one do you take? I just told you which one I take. It doesn't matter. To be honest with you, I'm usually taking the, the conventional. It's cheaper. See you next time. I hope you like these videos. You know, it's all about education for me and getting information out there about the two most powerful foods in the world, spirulina and chlorella, and how to live an incredibly natural, healthy lifestyle. See you guys next time.